Hello, Clarinets. Hope you guys are having a good week. Um, something happened to the first video um, that I made, and it is missing, and so I'm redoing it. So on the YouTube channel, on the playlist, you'll see it's like number 153 and Mrs. Brown's plea, and that's basically the last thing of this assignment. It like clipped that off. Um, however, we're going to go back and get some of these other things that we've missed. So let's start with 138. So um, some of this assignment will have some gorilla jump sort of things going over the break, starting to um, be able to read more notes over the break and figure out some of those fingerings, okay? So, let's start with 138, easy gorilla jumps. I'm going to stand up sometimes so you can see my fingers better. So 138 starts on a C, a low C, which is thumb, just your regular hulky. One, two, three. And then it's going to go up to a high G, which you're going to hit your register key. So it's the same, nothing else moves. I just tap my register key. Now, remember, you want to have your thumb at an angle so that you can just tap that key and it doesn't really make the rest of your finger move. So that's the important part. All right, here we go. Okay, so 139, if you look at your key signature, there's one flat in the key signature, B flat. So I start on a low C, C, B flat, A, G, low F. Look at where that pinky is for low F. A, F, A, F, G, A, B flat. Then measure five has you up on a high G, which is like your C, but with your register key. So then I'm walking my fingers down up in the high register. G, F, E, D, C, D, E, D, C. Remember that C, high C is like your low F, but with your register key. E, C, D, E, F. Okay, let's do it. if you look in your key signature, has one sharp, it's F sharp. A high F sharp, which is your second note in the song, is like <coughs> a low B. I'm going thumb with my register key, one, two, three, and then your middle finger in your right hand. That's a high F sharp. So this song starts G, F sharp, E, D, C, E, D, F sharp, E, D, C, D. Then I go back down to my lower register, D, C, B, A, G, A, B, A, D, E, F sharp, D, G. Let's try it. Okay. 
141. This one has no sharps or flats in the key signature. It starts on a high E, which is thumb with my register key. One, two, three, four, five. E, 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 D, E, G, F, D, 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 G, F, E, 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 D, E, G, F, D, E, F, F, E, D, C. So it's all above the break. Your register key is down for this entire line. Um, they have the metronome marking at 116. I'm always skeptical of sight reading anything above 100. So let's slow it down. I'm going to put it on 96. taking kind of long today okay 142 it has one flat in your key signature b flat it has you going over the break just for one note in this whole song which is a really common note for you to know over the break like you should know this this should be one that you get really familiar with it's your high c that's the one that's like the low f thumb register key one two three four five six and this pinky key not the closest pinky key but that one Okay, let's do it. This one also starts on a rest, so it's gonna go click, 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 one, two, and you come in on B2. Two, three, four, one. <laughs> One flat in the key signature, B flat. So it starts on your low F, which is this pinky right here. And then we get to go use the big daddy key. So if you've been waiting for it, there he is. So I'm going to go F, E, F, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, E, F. E, F, F, A, G, G, F. You're like, why is that called the Big Daddy Key? I mean, look at it. It's the biggest of the three clarinet pinkies. It's that one that sticks up right there. That's the Big Daddy Key. I know, this is a monumentous occasion. Here we go. <laughs> Pop up 
to a high note. So anytime you get something weird that like that that happens, it's probably either your fingers have moved off the keys a little bit, something weird happened, or your arm you moved your mouth, like you moved your jaw, you moved something, and it made a weird sound. No reason to panic. Just try it again. All right, 144 smooth sailing. This one has one flat in the key signature. Again, we're in our low register. So what they're really trying to see is, are you covering your keys? Like, are your holes getting covered by your fingers? Remember, you want to, instead of putting your finger in the middle of the key, you want to think of putting your finger over the key. Think about touching the far side of the key, not the middle of the key, this part of the key. So, for number four, uh, 144, A, A, G, F, G, A, F, E, F, G, A, F, 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 E, F, G, A, F, G, F, I'm sorry, E, F, G, A, F. So this is all stuff in our right hand. Gorilla jumps. This one, they're using your big daddy low E. So one thumb, one, two, three, big daddy key, four, five, six, and use that F key as well. There's our low E. And then to jump up to that high B, we just add the register key. So you're not going to see anything in the front part of my hands moving. All I'm moving is my thumb. So again, I'm using my low notes. I have all natures in my key signature. I start on a low F. F, E, big daddy. F, E, F, E, F, 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 E, E, F. Now I'm gonna pop up to my upper register. I'm just adding my register key. C, which is like my low F, but with the register key. C, B, C, B, C, B, C, 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 B, B, C. And then it repeats. where the sound's not coming coming out, my first guess, if you're squeaking, is that your fingers are off of the keys. So double check that. Make sure you're covering all those holes and really flattening out your fingers. If the sound's not coming out at all, it could be that you're not taking in enough mouthpiece, so push a little bit more mouthpiece. If you push in a little more mouthpiece and then you get a big squeak, that was too much, so take it, split it halfway, take it back out. Okay, this next one is our B-flat concert scale which is one of our most popular scales. You will be playing this every day when you're in seventh and eighth grade. It has repeat at the end of it. If you look in your key signature, there's no sharps, no flats. It starts on my C, C, D, E, F, G, 
A, and then it's a high B natural. That's your low, that's like with your big daddy key, with my register key. So thumb, register key, one, two, three, big daddy, four, five, six, and then that F key. That's my B. And then to go to my high C, all I do is pick up the big daddy key. Come back down, big daddy, A, G, F, E, D, C. Here we go, and it has a repeat. One forty-eight um, starts to add arpeggios now and chords. Basically, they're taking a chord um, based on that on that C scale, and they're going to break it apart, and it's called an arpeggio. Okay, so here we go. the scale and the arpeggios. So here we go, same notes that you've been using. signature I believe you have a B yes you have one flat B flat it goes up to some high C's uh, it's got a high F remember B naturals with your big daddy key okay so this is kind of going back and forth between your regular lower notes and your upper register so be ready for it here we go I'm gonna slow it down it's at 96 I'm gonna put on an 88 next to the B that means all the other B's are B flat which is like your A with your register key no thumb there none of the thumb hole but just the A and the register key all right let's look at 151 152 I know we're next is 151 
Okay, so this one has one flat in the key signature as well. So those all those B's are B flats. It has a first and second ending. You play the first ending. You go back to not the very first note because that's a pickup note. So you see where the repeat sign is like bracketed. You go back there to the first full measure and you play all that again. And on the second time through, you skip the first ending and go straight to the second ending. Here we go. Starts on a high C. One, breathe. Okay, now 152 is your quiz this week. So this is the one that you need to record yourself and to turn it in. Okay, and you might recognize this tune. It starts at the very beginning. You're gonna play all the way through it. You get to the first ending down at the bottom. It goes back to where the repeat sign is at measure five. So you play back to measure five, then you're gonna play all that again. You're gonna skip the first ending and go straight to the second ending. Two, ready? <laughs> YouTube already it's on the YouTube playlist um, because for whatever reason that was the only thing that uploaded so all right clarinets you got lots of high notes going on this week so if you're getting weird sounds send me videos of what your weirdness sounds like so I can try to help you if you just say it sounds weird I can't help you as much so send me a video I'm okay with you sounding weird on your videos so that I can help you all right bye clarinets